basically take them down. It was part of the part of onboarding along with your insurance. And I never, I never had to use it because I was also we as much time as they taught us to to take down kids. 10x they spent the time teaching us how to de-escalate. De-escalation. And so. I so I understand the steak knife because I've been in a situation like that before. Yeah. But and I'm sure you had to have been because of the work that you've done. Yes. But no one no one I don't think I don't think I've been in a situation that got physical where anyone even had to have like a band aid or go to the doctor. Like I have I have broken up so many fights in my life with yeah. weapons. Weapons ranging from knives to guns. I have to bats. That I have to that I have, I'm not done. I mean, I have broken up so many fights and, and, and yeah, we could get into a whole other conversation yeah, about it's just, who's responsible it's, here, but it's just, it is, it is because I believe, but inherently there's a video that's going around and I'm, I'm going to leave it at this. There's a video I saw on Amanda Seals page of a fight that broke out in an airport the other day. And it's like a melee. It's like two or three different fights happening all at the same, one group against another group, right? It's really a lot going on. And this, this black, it's all black people. And this black man comes into the frame of the person who's videotaping and he physically puts his body, and nobody does this nowadays, right? He physically puts his body in and breaks up the fight. And I guess at the point he breaks up the fight, one of the people fighting realizes that their friend is still fighting on the other end and they run over to jump in again. This man then follows them. Some more people are coming now, they break up the fight. But then in the corner of the camera, you see the, the young man who was fighting is still mad and whatever. And this other black man, they're both black people, embraces him and says, calm down, calm down, you're okay. And it was, it was, it makes me emotional now even to think about it because I'm, that's not what, I'm not saying people have to put their bodies on the line for everybody, but this, the necessity of what that person needed in the moment was really just a show of love. Yeah, of, of empathy and compassion. And that was a huge show because you don't know what's going on. You don't know about your own personal safety. But I don't know who that man is, but he gave me such a, a, a glimmer of hope in the end because he, he just held on to him and said, you're okay. Not calm down, not stop fighting, not cut it out. He just said, you're okay. You're okay, calm down, you're okay. He just kept saying that. And you know that he loves black folks and he's, he is engaged in our humanity because he could see the human being there, not an animal, not a whatever. And he extended that. And I just, we need that in so many different ways, so many different variations of that kind of connection. Um, and I know we're not, we're far from it in some ways, but we're not too far. We really no. are. No, and it's, yeah. I think the, I think the sooner we understand that embracing our full humanity means embracing the humanity of other people and mm -hmm. they start interrogating the question of what do i need to tell myself to make this okay Ooh, that's such a um, <laughs> that should be i mean there could be a whole lesson just around that like literally you could write a whole lesson and i think talking about how we often say you know white people need to talk to white people when we yeah. when just, that that is such a great question for you to pose to other people and have them sit with it for a minute because I don't yeah, know and I'm guilty. what it is. You yeah. just need to sit with that. What is it that you had to tell yourself to make this okay? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm grateful for this book. I'm grateful for you. I'm so grateful for you. I'm glad we got to, I'm glad we get to grapple with this in public. Like we're not, perfect. We're not, no. we're not experts on race or anything, but, but, we are, I think, beautifully human and beautifully flawed and ter and definitely connected and committed to being, to contributing. And that's why I keep calling this an offering. People can use it in various ways, but this is our offering. And I'm so, so, so grateful that you are willing to, to do this with me because it, it just makes it so much better. I'm just so glad for it. And I, I'm glad for it too. I'm glad for you. This is it, y'all. I'm not be emotional today, so I'm just going to read the book. <laughs> we, how many times have we almost cried already? We just got our gap. It's a lot. Yeah. Well. <laughs> All right. Bye, y'all. We're going to save this, and we're going to go. Are we going to put it up somewhere for on your stuff? I'm going to put it on YouTube so people can revisit and see it as much as they want.
And to Genia, my amazing social media manager on my and our team, I'm getting the directions out about how to save it. <laughs> um, Jesus, it's like, who's the old lady? Look, I've got how to save it for Toronto. I love that. Well, you know, we have another thing in like 15 minutes, so. Oh, my yeah. God. Yeah. Do we? Okay. We have the, the check-in, the tech thing. Oh, got it's it. Okay. Oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. I'll see you in 15 minutes. Thanks, everybody, for All coming. Right. Bye, everybody. Thank Bye. you. Okay, you must end the live. I don't know how to leave. <laughs> Wait, don't do anything because I have to end it first. By oh, okay. Next okay. Are you sure you want to end your live confirming that in now?